What's up, Highway 83 Suzuki followers? We're back with a brand new edition. Today we're talking about bleeding a master cylinder, bench bleeding the cylinder. Actually, this is what you want to do before you install it in your vehicle. And before I get started on any project like this, what I like to do is I like to kind of like to take my hat and flip it around. And you see what that is, is it's, it's like a switch. And when that switch goes on, I feel like a different kind of person. I feel like a... I feel like a truck, like a machine, like I'm ready just to kick ass, just, yeah, let's get into this project, come on, all right, let's do it, so we're in here, we got our, we got our master cylinder locked into a, a vise, and you can do it on your uh, four inch vise, this is a pipe, a pipe stand, which I like to use for a lot of projects, because it holds it very well, um, if you bought a brand new master cylinder, you're probably going to get a bleeding kit that came with it. If you didn't, if you're using a used one off your shelf, or you bought one from us, or wherever you bought it from, no problem. The kit basically in, consists of two clear tubes. You want them clear so you can see the fluid coming through the tubes. And you're going to need a couple nipples that go into your brake line outlets. The ones that come with the kit will probably be plastic, possibly aluminum. So that's what you're going to have. If you don't have those, you can make your own just with some cut off brake lines with just a half an inch or so of, of line coming out of there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our, our nips, Z nipples, screw them in, and you want to snug them up. You don't want to have any air leaks coming out of there. So you want them tight, but not too tight. Okay, so you got your your nipples threaded in. Then what you want to do is plug your hoses in. Make sure they're, they're snugly on there. Then you're going to loop both hoses back into the reservoir. And make sure they stay in there. Some of the kits come with a little clamp that holds them on. If not, you'll have to hold them with your hand or stick a piece of wood or something in there whatever you got handy so they don't come out next step will be pour in some brake fluid a new can of brake fluid is usually recommended so that's what we got so we got our our new fluid is in there you want both your hoses underneath the fluid line then what you're gonna want is a screwdriver so you can stick it into this plunger here and what we're going to do is slowly push the plunger in and slowly release it back out and what that's going to do is it's going to pump pump fluid through the lines pump the air out so we're going to start by very slowly pumping the plunger in and very slowly bringing it back out then you're just going to let it sit for a little bit and let, let the air travel up the lines. Hopefully in the video you can see the, the bubbles traveling up. Then you're going to work the plunger again, nice and easy. Slowly in. And slowly out. Again, take a break. Let the, let the bubbles travel. And you're basically going to do this as many times as it takes until it's all fluid and no bubbles. Some go a little bit faster than others depending on how much air is trapped in there. So as you can see you got your bubbles traveling up. We're, we're, getting, we're getting a lot of the air bled out by this time. So you're just going to keep pumping. A few more pumps and I think this one will be good oh there's some more air came that time so you're just gonna keep pumping them until you get nothing but clear fluid if you're concerned do it another couple times till you got nothing but but uh, fluid coming out of there and then when you're done with that you will be fully bled and ready to install in your vehicle what you want to have is your a drip pan 
for when you pull these these lines the kit will come with some plugs otherwise if you have some vacuum plugs like this you can simply simply pull your pull your line slip your plug on there and when you get to installing it in the vehicle you won't have drips coming everywhere so from there we'll go on to the next step okay guys so we got both of our lines plugged off now when you're ready to install it in the vehicle you're going to have your your brake lines in the car set to the side you're going to want to make sure that your o-ring on the back of the master cylinder is in very good condition so you have no no air leaks on the the brake booster and then when you're gonna you're gonna remove your nipples as fast as possible and thread in your brake lines so that you don't drip fluid everywhere so then you'll you'll have it set up and then you can work into bleeding the air out of the rest of the system depending on if it's totally empty or or what have you you know bleeding it out of the calipers or the the brake rotors i mean the, the calipers or the brake drums so you can bleed out the rest of the air from there but you want to do this first or else it's very difficult to bleed out the air once it's in the in the car you want to make sure you have a nice and level on your stand level this way and level this way and uh, after that you are pretty much set you're going to want to grab a, a cole miller high life shout out to high life i uh i'm waiting for you guys to offer that sponsorship been talking about it for a while throw, throw a guy a 30 pack a week a t-shirt a hat something come on you know what i'm saying miller high life over here highway 83 suzuki you guys keep uh offering up ideas we'll be back on the next one thanks for watching guys